Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, we're going to take a look at the USA 2C Plus amp models on the AxeFX FM9 and FM3. I'm currently on the FM9, and this model is based on the iconic Boogie 2C Plus amp model. Those amps have a bunch of knobs that you can pull out to activate extra functions, and the deep and bright pull switches on there are pretty popular as a starting point. So if you've never used one of these before, I would say start off with this particular model. It will give you a great taste of what the others can do. And if it doesn't quite do it for you, try the other models that have them disabled. So there's a deep, there's a bright, and there's just a USA 2C Plus model in there. There's also a USA 2C Plus Plus model, which is a little bit easier to dial in. But if you can do it on this one, you can do it on all the other boogie models. So I'm pairing this with my usual LTTV Mix 7 Cab IR, which you can get for free. Just check the video description and a little bit of the studio reverb type. Now, this is not an amp model that sounds good at stock settings. You get this. It's a bit woofy. It's not really articulate or aggressive. It's just kind of middle of nowhere. It's not doing much for me. The trick with Mark series amps though is, uh, you know, if you've never dialed one in before, turn all the controls, well, the EQ controls here to zero and you get totally clean sound. The treble control is essentially your main gain control here. The tone stack is pre-EQ. So as you turn this up, you'll get more gain and more saturation. And then you use the bass and middle to kind of balance out any harshness in there. Let's try that. That tidies things up a lot. You've got that articulation, but it doesn't have the giant chunk that we normally associate with these amp models. To get that, you go to the output EQ here, and a lot of people would have seen the kind of typical V shape on a boogie, and a lot of people go, why would you scoop the mid so hard? You just heard that tone there, extremely mid-range heavy, and it's a little bit thin sounding. So what you do with this EQ is you kind of add in a little bit of low end and you take out some of that extreme mid-range, even just trying the 80 hertz and 750 sliders and go hard with the 750, you'll suddenly take it from that, I guess, kind of anemic sound to something a lot chunkier. <laughs> Playing around with it a bit, I normally end up on settings like this. Essentially, think of these top two sliders as something that are going to control the brightness. So if you've got a dark cab IR, you can kind of turn these up a little bit more. I've got quite a bright cab IR, so I leave them rather neutral. Again, this 750 slider is all important. If you want more of that like Santana mid-heavy lead thing, leave it up. If you want the Metallica Dream Theater thing, turn it down and then balance out the 80 and 240 for your low end. I like to cut a little bit of 240. It sounds pretty cool with a bit of a boost in there as well. Uh, I also like to turn this overdrive control all the way up. That's basically like a flat gain control in there. The other control is this treble shift or fat switch in there. So let's have a listen to what that does. But first, I'll just give you this kind of dialed in tone. This is where I like it. <laughs> My favorite Dyna cabs to pair with these Mark series amps would be the 4x12 Recto Straight and the Rumble EV12L. I find the Recto Straight with the Dynamic 2 and the Ribbon is a really nice combo. I just play with the alignment on one mic a little bit. 
80 hertz low cut, 8K high cut, same settings on the app. <laughs> With the EV12L, I just like a single ribbon on there, but I like to go to the amp block and turn this 6600 slider up. I'll let you hear it without, and then I'll turn it up by three or four dB. want to stick to the Dyna cabs, you know, you could use this EV12L for the leads and the Recto for the rhythm tones or vice versa. Again, do whatever makes you happy. My IR generally makes me pretty happy with these amps. It's what I've been using live for a few years now and I'm comfortable with it. So do whatever gets you there. But just keep in mind with these Mark series amps, again, the tone stack is pre-gain. So even though these EQ settings may seem a bit weird if you're coming from Marshalls or other amps like that, try it out, see how you go, and then give it a nice big sculpt with the graphic EQ, and you should be able to get some great results. Let me know what Mark Series amp is your personal favorite in the Fractal ecosystem in the comments, and if you like what I'm doing on the channel, check the video description for different ways to support what I do, whether it's my Patreon or the music I make with Ragdoll. I'm gonna play you all out with my PRS SC245 in drop C, just to show you why I like these amps so much, because that is a much darker sounding guitar and a lower tuning than this DGT, but it still stays super tight. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.